Greetings, folks. My name is Danielle, and this is Makeup Geek 1021. As you all know on this channel, I am all about comic books and superheroes across the board, from Marvel to DC and to even beyond that. I already made a part one of my top 10 favorite superheroes, so be sure to go and watch that one if you haven't. Also, side note, um, I apologize if I sound kind of nasally or if my voice sounds weird. Um, I'm getting over a bit of a sore throat, so that's why it kind of sounds um, like I'm sick right now because even though I'm not technically sick, it's just like a very minor thing, so try to ignore that. Now let's get into my list of the top 10 personal favorite superheroes part two. All right, so number 10, Warren Worthington III. Warren Worthington III is by far one of the greatest characters that I think Marvel has ever produced in their arsenal and has had experiences of being both good and evil. Um, he's one of the original five members of the X-Men and Warren is the son of a billionaire who has this image of being um, a playboy, but nonetheless, he has a big heart and an unending loyalty towards all his teammates. He's a character who is interesting to look at, whether he is used as a hero or a villain, which makes him, for me, one of the best superheroes and one of the best X-Men team members. Number nine, Human Torch. Johnny Storm is one of those characters many have seen grow up over his years of being in Marvel Comics, starting off as a wisecracking glory hound and a bit of a spoiled brat at times, Johnny has evolved into a much more compassionate, selfless hero who has loyalty towards both his family and friends. Plus, he just also happens to be best friends with Spider-Man, and the two of them are quite the comedy together. Number eight, Mira. Aquaman's wife and primary love interest is not just your average female character at all. Mira is fiercely independent and loyal to Atlantis and is no damsel in distress either. Mira carries herself with a regalness and is definitely one of the strongest female heroes that DC has got. Plus, her film adaptation made me love her even more. Number seven, The Thing. Ben Grimm is one of those characters who may come off as completely tough and stoic, but underneath all of that rock hard skin. He's actually extremely sensitive, especially after the exposure to the cosmic rays permanently changing his appearance. Ben is a character who struggles deeply with his insecurities and is one of those characters you cannot help but have empathy for and is a character I can personally deeply connect with. Puberty was hard. Can you imagine how Ben feels? Number six. Daredevil. Matt Murdock is one of those characters who is starting to grow on me, and the Daredevil Netflix TV series is starting to become one of my personal favorites. Matt Murdock loses his sight after a chemical spill, but as his sight goes, his other senses are greatly enhanced. He's a skilled martial artist, a quick-witted defense attorney, and a devout Catholic, making him one of the most religious characters that Marvel has ever created. Number five, Michelangelo. The orange-wearing Ninja Turtle has always been one of those characters I loved since I was a kid watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze. Mikey is the funniest out of all the turtles and is a glorified prank out of all his brothers, often not taking things as seriously. He's good with comebacks, a highly skilled martial artist, and loves his pizza. Number four, Beast. Beast is one of those characters I grew up loving ever since the X-Men animated series. He's a character that shows that your intelligence is valuable, and I always was teased in elementary school for being a know-it-all. However, I what I love most about Beast is his gentleness and the fact that he's always reading books, which, I mean, I can relate to because growing up I was quite the bookworm. Number three, Wolf Spain. Rain Sinclair is one of those New Mutants characters I've grown to really loving and appreciating. Born to an abusive minister who emotionally abused her, Rain has the ability to transform herself into a wolf. She's highly true to her convictions, is a devout Christian, making her one of Marvel's most religious superheroes. Number two, Billy Cranston. The original Blue Power Ranger is one of those characters I can relate to deeply. Billy has gone from being one of the Power Rangers' weakest members to one of their strongest and is the most intelligent on the team. 
starting out as an insecure teenager who often leaned on his friends Jason and Trini for protection, Billy slowly gained more confidence and became much more skilled in martial arts and proved that his intelligence is an asset, building the Power Rangers their communicators. Billy Cranston is an inspiration, and that's why he's on my list of the top 10 favorite superheroes. And lastly, at number one, Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride was brought in during Chris Claremont's run on X-Men, who wrote her as the team's kid sister and a surrogate daughter for Wolverine, who was often the one to train her. Kitty starts off as an incredibly sassy teen who very much didn't like listening to authority. She often called her teachers jerks, but she grew into an able young woman who went on to lead her own X-Men team. She's not afraid of having an opinion and also has this motherly gentleness to her that makes her resonate with fans and that's why kitty will always be one of my favorites all right everyone that's part two of my top 10 favorite superheroes let me know down below who your favorite hero is subscribe if you are new and i'll be back soon